Welcome to the Seeking Success Podcast here with KNR today, well, Khalil. Welcome, Nolan. And Radis. And today's episode is going to be a pretty interesting one. Yeah, we're going to intro how we became a team, kind of our past with high school, everything in that sense. Um, just, so yeah, Khalil, just you from the start. Yeah. yeah, so just uh, jump right into it. So for me, obviously, my name is Khalil Augustine, 20 years old now. Um, so my story began. <laughs> my story obviously began in Oshawa. I moved to New York City for high school, and then after New York City, I decided. Honestly, it was because like uh, everyone's p- first path, their first thing to do is go like go to university. Everyone else is doing it, so I felt like if I'm gonna go to university, I'm gonna go for something that I feel like I can gain knowledge from. It wasn't obviously my like end goal. It was just something that I could do in the meantime and learn from. So I chose economics, and I went to university at Buffalo. So I moved from New York City to Buffalo, went to university for a semester. Honestly, I was there, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm definitely not doing this for four years. It just felt like a waste of time and, like, more, everything. Uh, more just for the partying, eh? On, <laughs> that was That was a definitely a fun part of it, for sure. But, um, yeah, I just felt like I could do all this learning by myself, and I basically was learning by myself. <laughs> I couldn't really, like, learn in class with 100 other, te- 100 other students. And a teacher that barely can speak English, like it just, <laughs> wow, it just, just wow. it just didn't make sense. I don't know why I'm paying all that money. So yeah, I left after a semester. Of course, me and Nolan are like lifelong friends, so we kind of like knew what we were doing. His his mom's a mortgage agent. My mom's a real estate agent. So growing up, I was just around that environment. I was my mom was always kind of trying to get me to go down that route. So I knew it was like something I I did want to do, and I had a lot of knowledge there. So when I was leaving university. Me and Nolan were talking, and he was telling me he was getting his mortgage license. Mortgage license, Ooh. and then I was moving back, so I was like, "Okay, I'll get my mortgage license as well." And this was like January 2019, I think. No, yeah. no, no, twi- yeah, yeah, 2019. Really? Yeah, yeah. Was it actually that? No cap. No it was cap. It? Okay, okay. Right. I, that seems like so close, but like, I, bro, like I guess it was just 2019. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Like, <laughs> holy, we have a long way to go for sure. But, um, yeah, so I got my license, he got his, and then we started Anything Financial. And then, yeah. I guess, yeah, Noah, why don't you tell your side of the story? Yeah, so, um, again, that was a good introduction, Khalil. Made some great points, too, as, you know, lifelong friends and whatnot. So, for me, myself, um, I guess I could start with, you know, coming out of high school and whatnot. Um, I knew, to backpedal a little bit, though, I knew Khalil growing up from elementary school, so that's kind of how we've been friends in that sense. Kindergarten. Um, but, yeah, coming out of high school, I'd say grade 12, um, that's kind of when everyone's thinking, like, oh, shit, like, I have to actually make a decision as to <laughs> yeah. my future, and, you know, it could affect my whole future, right? But in my, in my like, opinion, or I guess, you know, what I was thinking at that point was, fuck it, you know what I mean? I'm not even going to go to school. Like, I'm not going to apply anywhere. I'm just going to take the year off and figure out, you know, what do I actually want to do, right? Mm -hmm. So I remember being in grade 12 and, you know, all my friends are, oh, I applied to such and such school. I applied, you know, here and here. (laughs) They're like, oh, where'd you apply? Bro, I didn't send anything and I'm not applying (laughs) anywhere. They're all looking at me. Oh, you're crazy, man. Um, Again, coming out of high school. So I I finished high school, didn't apply anywhere, right? Um, So this would be September of me being out of high school. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm still 17 at the time, so turning 18 in October, right? That two-month span, I was like, bro, like, this is bad. Like, I'm not in school. My friends are, you know, doing shit. They're actually, like, making moves, right? Yeah. October comes around. My mom's like, why don't you just try to get your mortgage license, you know? Um, it's, it's, not, it's nothing crazy, you know? Just try <laughs> it, right? And see what, what comes from that or see how you like it, right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. Fuck it. I'll do it. Um, went in November, so a month after my birthday, um, got my mortgage license, signed to, uh, got, went into my mom's brokerage, met everyone there. And then that's when, when I went into the brokerage, I was like, holy shit. Like, like it clicked. Yeah. Like, wow, this is actually something I could see myself doing. And like, you know, the knowledge, the people around there. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Right. Um, after that, or yeah, yeah. So this is when, uh, like I was in the brokerage and whatnot. And then I started following a bunch of people on Instagram should, should um, we get into that now, or should I say no, my do that. part? Do, yeah, get your yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, anyways, I followed, like, a bunch <laughs> of people, and, and then that kind of happened with the social media aspect of right. me doing real estate and all that and getting my name out there, right? Um, coming into the new year, that was just full f- focused on mortgages, networking, all of that stuff, right? And then, um, yeah, we became a team in that sense. I'll, I'll let you kind of go off with that. And uh, from there, Anything Financial was kind of created. We started really doubling down on the content, um, videos, getting our name out there, 
And then, yeah, we've kind of just been grinding the past year now um, in that sense. Um, now we've been in a little bit of 4X2, which has been an amazing experience so far during quarantine. Um, and now we're here doing the podcast and everything else. So, <laughs> Ruiz, thought, eh? yeah, I'll let you kind of <laughs> do your intro, take it from there. Yeah, so similar story to, I guess, both of these guys in the sense that, you know, I applied to school. I was supposed to become a French teacher. Je peux parler un peu plus en français. Crazy. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to do a whole, a whole episode <laughs> of French. Um, but no, I do, I do speak French. Um, and yeah, I was supposed to be a French teacher, but I went to school for a week and I dropped out. So Khalil lasted a semester. I lasted a week. Um, and after that, um, I guess even before that, sorry, after I graduated from high school, I wanted to get my real estate license. And my thing was, oh, I'll do it part time while I'm a French teacher and I'll be raking in like 200K a year. Right. Little did, <laughs> little did he know you can't do it part time. Yeah. Little did I know. Um, how it works. And, you know, what I pretty much obviously will probably do episodes specifically on real estate and school and whatnot. But oh, you know, just sure, to keep things sure. short, I yeah. decided, hey, school wasn't the best route for me. But before I even went to school, like the month after I graduated from high school, I started to get my real estate license. So yeah, I, I remember you. Fast. Yeah, yeah. He actually reduces like literally right <laughs> after high school. So you were you were 18 though. So yeah, 17. You, oh, shit. You yeah. Could, okay. Okay. Wow. So here's a funny story. I'll say it real quick. I actually couldn't sign up to get my real estate license without my parents' signature because. Oh, I, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was so stupid. But Damn. yeah. See, that's that's action taken though, right? <laughs> so Gotta something do it. like that. But um, yeah. So after that, um, I started to get my real estate license, and I started. I took a course, an online course, and one of the things was, hey, while you're getting your real estate license, build a brand for yourself. And that really stuck with me. I know Gary V always talks about it. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to build a brand. So I started building a brand. And I guess, do you want to say the story of how we met or should I say it? Um, I mean, it's your intro. Like, All right, I'll take it away. Yeah. yeah. So I was on an Instagram live stream. Shout out to Jeff Weibo. For real. Big shout out. And Nolan comments and he's like, hey, uh, I'm going to get my real estate license. I'm in Oshawa. And I'm like, okay, well, Oshawa is near me. Why don't I... Uh, DM this guy or I told you to DM me or whatever yeah, yeah. and then literally because we were both on that live stream and we both were engaging in the live stream we s ended up meeting each other we DM'd we talked we had a few phone calls here and there mm -hmm. and then eventually we took like an in-person meeting and then I feel like instantly we met at like a coffee shop and like instantly like when I met Nolan it was like okay like there's yeah. again kind of like another like like a, something like click yeah, yeah. It's like okay like yeah. like we're both very similar in that sense um, we both you know have that hustle we have that drive and then from there, um, I think what it was maybe like two weeks after that, yeah. I met up with Khalil as well. Cause, yeah, because while you guys were meeting is when I was getting my license, so I was like doing going like going through the in like class a success path or something and like yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah. What and was the was that a cams? No, no, the first no, it was the library. We yeah, we met at the library. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. We went no, to the library because we, we, oh, <laughs> we yeah. were making a soccer league, which obviously is not a thing anymore and did not, Holy. you know, work out. But take that in because it's crazy because obviously, like, that's a crazy story of, like, how things just, like, everything's, like, meant to be. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, a court, why, like, what's the, what are the chances of them being on the same live stream at the same, same time, same age, doing the same thing? Yeah. For them to end up meeting up and then now we're, like, a team. But the crazy thing about it is, like, when we all met, like, Bree said, it, like, just clicked. And I swear, it's like there was no like there was no like awkward stage or none of that. It was just like we ju got straight into business. Yeah, like, we, we went, went straight into. Yeah. Like, like we went do straight this. to like yeah. trying out the soccer league. Yeah. And again, even when um, Radice and I first met up, like that was my first time, like I guess uh, by myself too, because like before yeah. even going to brokerage and whatnot, like I'd be with my mom where she'd introduce me, whatever. Right? Yeah, and yeah. Again, I was uh, eighteen, like just eighteen at the time. We were both eighteen, and. Um, like when I first met up with them, like, uh, you know, driving there, I was like, shit, like, this is crazy, you know, like, <laughs> fuck, bro, I'm so scared, whatever, and then, like, you know, you do it, like, then we met up, it was whatever, right, it's nothing, but, like, just to actually do it, right, it was so crazy at the time, where now, you oh, know, we're meeting, we're going, networking, bro. whatever, it's nothing, but now, like, you just look back on it. It's kind of uh, ironic in that sense. And we're gonna, we're definitely going to have an episode on, like, stepping out of your comfort zone and doing things oh, that, like, are, uh, like, unnatural to you. Because yeah. look where it led to, for no, example. we got a lot of content. But sorry, yeah. D. No, 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 no. I remember, too, like, I was wearing, like, a full Roots tracksuit. I walk into the coffee shop. I see no one with, like, a dress shirt, tie, and pants. Oh, yeah, <laughs> bro. Because this, this, I was like, you know, I got to make the best I'm like, impression. I'm like, all right, you know? I'm like, all right, this kid's never going to talk to me again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember so I pull funny. out my MacBook and shit. Like, <laughs> That's yeah, right. Just like, we were literally, it was just, like, I thought it was, like, some next meeting. We just kick up. Like, I came with a tie and everything. It was crazy. It was crazy. But... 
<laughs> no, it's awesome because after that, again, like no one introduced me to Khalil. Um, and then from there, we started, you know, I think the first kind of real business thing we did together is we went to like a investment property tour. Again, yep. shout out to Cam Cassidy. Big mm-hmm. shout out to Cam. We'll have him on the podcast. But 100%. yeah. 100%. After that, we kind of just, um, you know, I obviously got my real estate license. You guys are mortgage agents. We were kind of, you know, dabbling upon that. Dabbling. We were kind of just learning a lot. Like yeah. Learning about networking, about all that type Again, of stuff. Again, uh, we still are, but with just sponges, just anything yeah. that we yeah. could learn, we're just soaking and up and, you know, wanting to take action on it, right? And so. definitely at that stage, our main goal is kind of like to get our names out there because of course like we're, like, eight, we're 19 and still yeah is. of course yeah still is but our, like at that point it was like we're 19 we, do, we don't really know anybody in the industry so like our we number one thing one, yeah. like, we didn't our number one it. thing was to start a soccer league and which was a good idea and the reason behind that was because like obviously <laughs> we'd meet like parents involved and we just get our name out in like the all of durham basically oh my should should we go in with how we went to the, the schools and oh, everything? Yeah, keep, let's well, keep talking about that. Yeah, let's keep or talking about keep that. No, let's keep, like, keep on that. <laughs> should we? Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, honestly, so <laughs> with, the, with the soccer league. We'll start from um, the start, though. Start from the start. Like, oh, my goodness. Time. Okay. So um, we, we had the idea. Um, obviously, we, we kind of lunk up, and that was kind of how this whole thing originated. But um, we made posters, and, you know, we kind of had a, an actual solid plan with how we were going to go about advertising for the soccer league. So uh, Khalil's uncle printed us like what flyers three three hundred flyers or something, right? Something yeah. crazy, absurd amount for what it was. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we went to I'd say seven to eight uh, local elementary schools because it was uh, the soccer league was based from grades one to eight is yeah. what uh, like the aim was for it. And me and Nolan even connected with like an old principal that we had. And Insane, but <laughs> yeah, so we went to seven, seven or eight elementary schools. First of all, I don't think you're allowed to hand out. Uh, it's illegal as shit. Yeah. We, we, anyways, they were asking like, "Oh, do you guys usually do this?" Whatever. We're like, "Yeah, really? we hand it out like posters everywhere, right?" Um, a few. We got a few calls back from like actual uh, kids, like parents from the elementary schools or whatever. But did we? Obviously, like we got. Like, two the thing is, the thing is, like, whatever maybe, but, but no, because the thing is, is like when we were handing out the flyers. By the time we had the flyers, we still had no plan of how we're gonna. We didn't have all we had was a permit. Yeah, yeah anyway. we had a permit, and we had no plan of how they're gonna actually like sign up. Oh yeah, so we, we did. We did get yeah, a permit. We, we messed up. Anyway, <laughs> this is this is low key like our first. Uh, I guess our first group, group, yeah, like a, a team venture, team project. Um, obviously it fell through, but still what to take away, like we took a lot of experience away from it and the sense of time management and how to actually plan properly with, you know, um, deadlines and everything. We learned a lot with that. So mm, yeah, there's stuff to take away from it. At least 100%. we took away from it. We did it. We can say we did it. And it's a funny story to look back on. Now, and if you want, you can go see the Durham soccer league Instagram, Instagram <laughs> account. Of course, nothing <laughs> uploaded, but we it, tried. Yeah, it is a real thing. We yeah. Did try. Um, but yeah, sorry from there. So reduced. So I, I think around, know. that was like probably what, like May, June, maybe we started to do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was literally just after I got my real estate license. And yeah. then pretty much, like what happened, like what did we do during that summer? So I guess it wasn't until June, or was it July, where we went to our first networking uh, it's July. July it's yeah. beginning of July. July, for sure. And so I guess, I feel like that event especially was like a huge, like, what's the word, like a... Um, like like a tipping point. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember. So it was Austin's event. Yeah. yeah. And it was downtown. And we all went there. And it was crazy because people were coming up to us and they recognized us from Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that, I feel like, was huge because we were like, holy shit, like all the content we've been putting out, all the work we've been doing, you know, someone's actually seeing it. Because it was random people that just came up yeah. to us and were like, hey, like, we love your stuff. We watch your stuff. And it's like, wow, like, okay. Like, it, was, it was, like, super eye-opening, and then yeah. after that, we went to every single one. But, like, that was a networking event we met, like, Mike Rosehart. I Matt know he McKeever. definitely, like, inspired all of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, um, even, like, again, that was literally our first networking event where the fact that we met at our first one, too, these big, <laughs> these big <laughs> names hitters, where, yeah. you know, they're doing multiple properties. They have tons of units, you know yeah. what I mean? And the amount of money just flowing through them is insane. And, and then we start talking to them and everything. And um, just the the advice and like they're just so down to earth in that sense. We're like, shit, like you know, this is like, let's continue this on the momentum. Mm-hmm. Um, from there, you know, every single month we were trying to do at least two to three networking events per month at that point. Yeah. Um, prime prime summer, we were downtown a lot, just getting content and again getting our name out there, putting ourselves in the positions to meet these higher up people, right? Well, and one thing we completely forgot to mention is I would say around June, around April maybe or whatever, May maybe, 
that's when we actually got our office. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got our own office. Um, which is an Ajax, yeah. Yeah, which is not a thing anymore. A lot of memories there. A lot, bro. So many memories. We can have... It was, oh, my God. It was cool, too, for the time um, that it was, the fact that we had that accessibility to just be able to, yeah, every like, day that we wanted to work um, yeah. and get together, we had a guaranteed spot exactly. where no one's bugging us, right? Because even, you know, if we were to go to one of our houses, someone's are always there in that sense. 100%. Um, and it was perfect, and it worked out because it's like... We, we have our office in Toronto, which is like a brokerage office, but this one's in Ajax, so it's right in the middle between us, and it just worked out perfectly in that sense. Exactly, and not even that, it was just somewhere where we, like, literally, like, without that office, we would not have built our brands. Oh. So much stuff we would have missed out on, so many meetings we wouldn't have been able to take. Yeah. And, and, like, the like, hours of us sitting there, like, trying to record one video, oh, all, yeah. like, the amount or of stuff we learned. Even brainstorming, like, yeah. we still have footage of, like, us goal setting for 2020. Like, I have that footage shown. Like, just yeah. looking back at that is insane, right? Like, we had a whole boardroom. That's where a lot of books that came from. <laughs> 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 we won't talk about that. But, oh, God. Um, but, but, yeah, this, then... So, where are we now? We're from in the, yeah, so what from July, uh, going into August, I remember specifically... August? Um, it was mid-August. I just came back from Cuba, and literally, oh, yeah, you had your um, we linked up. I think it was two days after, and it was like a network, big networking event. But we went downtown for the whole day. Um, we got what, like, we spent like three, four hours getting content at the uh, pier. Oh, Pulse. Um, was that yeah. before? I no, thought it was before. No, yeah. no, it was right after. I remember. Trust. Pulse it was right after I came back. Pulse and Pier, where we filmed like that. Um, video. We oh. did all of that content, and then we went to Graffiti Alley. We got yeah. some content there, just some pictures and everything, but. That was like a full day of content where after that, we still spent four hours at the networking yeah. event. Yeah, yeah. Like, take, you know what we, I mean? Like, take in, that was like literally a year from now, like a year ago from today, basically. Yeah, yeah which is so. insane. Like, looking back on those videos is actually like... Yeah, like we place. actually killed it with that. But yeah, like after that, September, no, nothing major, but then nothing September major. was us planning for our Ottawa trip. Yeah, and I feel like that trip was like, like I feel like... like I don't even... Like, that, that, was was a, <laughs> that, was, that trip was insane. So. Yeah, no, the... The, well, that was October. That really, yeah. that really like showed us like the power of like your network is your net worth as well as like the personal brand and just hundred percent. Well, that, I guess shows real high level what that Ottawa trip consisted of. There's a vlog on my YouTube channel, so we could definitely go check that out. But pretty much, we did a mansion tour. We did a meetup for our followers. We did an interview. Um, what else did we do? We literally just visited. The University um, of yeah, we held, we, there, like, we held like Binance, a little Shadow like him. meetup, I guess. Yeah, and again, like shout out to Band Finance. Um, yeah. yeah, that was just another person that we connected with on social media. Who the fact he was in Ottawa, we were already down there. Um, we did a little interview with him, he asked some yeah. amazing questions. Yeah, um, and now this is now literally a contact where we talk to pretty frequently. Oh, and yeah, like I'd consider him pretty close in that sense. He's definitely so like an extension of the team just in Ottawa. Yeah, he's a cool yeah. guy. We'll, so. we'll get into that in a bit on the story too because there's something like that was supposed to happen this year, but Corona. didn't happen. Yeah. But, um, and but then it's crazy because. Do you remember us, like, sitting by, um, what's, like, the main area again? Like, the parliament? The parliament. We were, like, all standing by the parliament. It's time for the meetup. We're, like, okay, yeah, no one's yeah, showing no up. Yeah, no one showed up at first. And then, and then like, ten after band finance comes, slowly, like, everyone starts coming in. We're just, yeah. like, there, like, we're like where did this get yeah, yeah, like, how from? did you even know about this? <laughs> and yeah. they're, like, all, like, they all know us. And then, like, yeah, we're, how like. How many people we were, were there until maybe, like, what, like, five? No, I think there's, like, a good ten. Were there? Because there was. Well, we won't get into it, but yeah, we're counting, we're counting the kids. Like we're counting five, all those kids. Five we're to counting, seven. Five, <laughs> yeah, seven, we're on but five to seven, which was, again, insane considering. Yeah, like, the fact that we were just able to do that meetup. Um, again, you guys are probably thinking, like, what's five to seven? But, like, just actually seeing people show up and stuff from in what Ottawa we're doing, too, right? Yeah, and it's not our live. city, right? It's yeah, not, not Oshawa, it's not Toronto, it's literally Ottawa, right? And so. it, off a couple stories, and I think an Instagram post is just telling them we're coming there. Yeah. That's all it was from. Yeah, but then from there... Um, going into November, December, we just kind of focused on uh, getting some deals done, real estate well, wise, and kind of like didn't we do doubling that in November? Or am I no? No, we definitely did some like not on the scale of Ottawa, but we definitely did a little bit like I day trips. Say, yeah, because we went to um we went to McMaster for the day. We went to Niagara Falls. No, but that was Bro, this that year. Was Hamilton. That was this year. Oh you guys did trip. Gosh, I'm telling you, we just we just no. So we when? did. We, we finished the the charities. What you? Oh, the charities. The charities, oh charities so what we did. We started yeah, we have to talk about this. We have to talk about. So, this. Uh, like, wow, these guys are slacking. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I forgot we have a charity. So okay, yeah, we started a charity called KNR Foundation. Yeah. Um, this was again. Sorry to update it. This was mid November. Uh, we were kind of planned it, and then that's all December was the hosting of actually gathering everything. I wrote my book in November. 
I think. I think uh, that was January. That was after. That no, was, no, no, no. It was. It was. 1st. It was more oh, December, but it was starting yeah. November. Yeah. It was okay. Kinda, yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay so now we yeah, know what happened. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> and those are just like we're constantly at the office at least twice a week. Oh, we yeah. This is just coming off of again. We were trying to keep to a schedule. So to paint a picture, we're trying to keep to a schedule of at least two times a week at the office. Um, this was through December to November. We try, or sorry, to December, the end of the year. Um, we're trying to keep that as the schedule. Um, and from those two two days per week, again, all of this happened. And then again, if you want to go in with the charity, feel free to explain and that. Then, yeah. So I guess the charity. We literally one day we were at the office, and Khalil's grandma was kind of proposing the idea that hey, like we should do some type of charity. And yeah. the idea she had was a good idea but i feel like we all are type of people that you know we want to really make like an impact like it'd be one thing to you know collect stuff and then give it to like a salvation army or something like that um what we did instead again there's a video on my youtube channel and on our social medias but what we did is we collected what like 40 bags worth of clothing oh like it was it, it was, was yeah more, i like, think it was 40 bags it couldn't even total. like it could like, it couldn't even all fit in the truck that we had yeah so like let's yeah. say like let's say 40 garbage bags full of clothing um we collected it from people on our social media and then we took it downtown and we went to a homeless shelter and we literally were able to hand it out to people. And I guess the great part about what we did with the charity is like we actually saw what we were able to do. We actually yeah, saw yeah. people getting the clothing as opposed was, to, you know, just donating money. Right. Exactly. That's very true. And it was definitely like heartwarming because like we had every, like everyone was coming up to the truck. We were able to like find people that are certain sizes and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. People would like pick through and choose whatever they want. Yeah. And, and of it was course, awesome. I think that was left over. We just left at the charity, and then I remember just uh, doing all the like. One day, I had to go collect uh, clothes from everyone. Yeah, <laughs> had to go to Whippy downtown Toronto, like just to do all this running around to get the clothes. And yeah, then, like my car couldn't fit it all. Right, so yeah, everything's yeah. just stuffed in. And then um, we yeah, were come, swishing in the car. Come the time when it was charity, um, our first thoughts, I guess, to be honest, we knew we wanted to go down to Toronto, but we only wanted to bring a little bit. Right, our whole goal <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> was give it away within Oshawa almost at um, all these local homeless places, right? Obviously, there's shelters, um, and people are actually using them, so we would have saw the, um, the like, holy shit. The impact. Yeah, the impact. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for, <laughs> my goodness. Um, but it actually, so we were in uh, Oshawa. We gave away a decent amount, but we did, yeah. what happened is they couldn't take as much stuff as we had, which, I mean, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, definitely. We gave away a lot of food there, though. Um, that experience alone, insane, right? Yeah. The amount of people we met and just we actually saw them have the food, take the food, what it was, right? From there, we thought, now that we have all this clothing, let's go to Toronto, right? So Khalil was lucky enough to get a truck where we could fit all the clothing yeah, we in. literally had to get a truck. <laughs> which, uh, again, that's crazy. Um, the truck was overfilled too, so that kind of puts a picture as to how much clothes we had. Um, went down, again, we had a few homeless shelters in mind, didn't end up going to those ones. We went to a different one, which worked out probably the best. Yeah. It was a shelter that was literally loaded um, right around Christmas time, too. And we were able to unload the truck. They came directly to the truck, grabbed what they needed, and then we were able to donate the rest of it to the shelter. Mm -hmm. um, they gave us a certificate and as a thank you and everything, mailed yeah. us a thing. Yeah. Um, it was just... Again, there's a vlog for it, so you guys can check it out on Jace's YouTube or anything financials Instagram. Yeah, um, that was easily one of the most heartwarming and eye-opening experiences. Like that that, that whole drive home, we're just like still mind blown. Yeah, like, they're really, like, we always have. I feel like, like, whenever something awesome happens, like we on the car drive home, we're always like just mind blown, just like you know talking about it but yeah. i feel like that specific like the charity because like took a took a bit to actually take in even yeah, like even, even like a few days after right? like yeah. they actually did that no and, and then especially like, like again a month after um i don't know if you guys got the t the mail as well like it, like i got like an actual yeah, thing an envelope like, yeah um, you your and i just reading i'm like no like we actually did that yeah. like no yeah. way you know it's what i awesome, mean like, and it's crazy to think like everything's so like spontaneous like a lot of things we do comes at, ends up happening so spontaneously for example yeah. like, we went to toronto and then found that like shelter because we were like talking to somebody. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, one uh, of yeah, one yeah, and he told us like go to there, and then we were talking to sure. them. <laughs> uh, we had more clothes than they could even handle. And again, though, was, like just goes to show, uh, go with the flow. Sometimes trust the process. Take know? action. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, so I guess moving on. So after that, it was the New Year's. Um, I think literally what like first or second week of January we did a St. Catherine slash Hamilton trip. Yeah, that yeah. was crazy. <laughs> that <laughs> trip was awesome. Bunch of went content. to Niagara. Yeah, yeah. we had, uh, lost money at the casino. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> <laughs> like ten that. bucks at every. Right? There's but a vlog on YouTube, right? Yeah, there's a yeah, there's, there's a Hamilton a vlog. Um, and um, then got what bear content too. We went through McMaster's, I believe. Yeah, we went um, to McMaster. Checked out that, which is pretty cool. Uh, met Redis's friends, connected with them. Yep. 
And we went to a networking event later on at night. Oh, yeah, we did do Which that wasn't... Too. Well, well, uh, well it, was, it, was not, it was a learning experience. Other than what it was, we're just keeping it it's learning the fact experience. that we were able to like just go, go and actually show we actually face did and, meet one and guy, connecting with Mark, people. who recognized yeah, Mark, us. Shadow yeah. Mark. And I guess other than that, another thing is after that, we started to do a lot more meetings, a lot more work, and then... February, Kicked it in a high gear, actually, February. We had a few uh, seminars Khalil and I went to, I remember. Um, and then we also did... I think you came to the office a few times. That oh, month multiple too, times. So. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And no, then, we need to like rewind um, a little bit because we didn't even talk about how we spoke at the school... We didn't talk about... we can't rewind that. No, I can't. Right. I mean, we didn't speak at a school, but I mean... Well, what? there's going to be a lot of episodes. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll cover that another time. But no, that was can't cool. Go all what was that? What, what month was that? that when was did like, we do that? I don't I know. think that was November. I think so, actually. Okay, to go back a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 whatever. Well, basically, high level, we spoke at a high school. We got invited to teach the kids about real estate. Yeah. Super cool experience. That, was, that, that, was, that was our first, thing. like, public speaking. Um, Actually, no, our first no, our public first speaking. Public speaking. <laughs> okay, anyways, we're getting, too, we're getting too sidetracked here. Um, but, okay, regardless, back to February of 2020. Yeah. Um, what else did we do? Like, February, March. Oh, so. No, March came quarantine. No, but so this is what happened. So I started the real estate team. Yeah. Got two agents. And it was going to be like this huge thing. I made an Instagram for it. It was the Redis team. It was going to be amazing. Um, we were even, I don't think we've ever publicly said this, but we were going to expand to Ottawa within this year. Yeah. Which would have been nuts because I would have had realtors in Toronto, in Ottawa. It would have been crazy. Who knows where it'd be at by now? Yeah, I don't know where it would have been by now. Probably, I mean, like shit. It yeah. would probably would have been amazing. But yeah. that got, so quarantine hit or Corona hit. And uh, March 15th, I think, or something around there. Literally mid-March. Mid-March. Think, yeah. We went to uh, Kingston and then came back. When we came back, it just lost. Oh, off, yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. It was mid-March, yeah. And then, so when that happened, literally, the team kind of fell apart. I wouldn't say... Not apart, not yeah. us. I wouldn't like say... The it, it just... Uh, the yeah, idea, and the idea. fact of uh, just linking every week and kind of keeping up Doing to date it. with the others that were around us, right? So uh, that at this point, like, we had no office, so our office was closed... Of course, yeah, we're in lockdown. Kinda, we couldn't really go to each other's I, houses. I don't know about you guys, but like the first, I'd say two, almost a month even, I was kind of out of it. Like when quarantine first hit, I was oh, like, oh yeah, everyone, yeah. Oh, my yeah. routine, I was waking up a bit later, no gym at all. I was like, what? Couldn't even go to the gym. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> it took me a changed. solid month to actually um, adjust to just the oh, fact of quarantine. Yeah. And then to figure out what I wanted to do after that took another month of, you know, like yeah, just to adjust and then to figure out, okay, what's now my next move, right? And I guess like... Which now, the which will lead into yeah, what we're like doing now. Obviously, we, we won't really get too deep into what we individually did in quarantine because I know we all tried a bunch of different things and whatever, but it was insane because like quarantine literally, like my morning routine was literally nailed down to a coffin before quarantine. When quarantine hit, my morning routine was gone. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. like, I'm slowly starting to build it back. Like, I'm back on a book a week now. But again, like, there's a lot of habits that I don't do. I know Nolan as well. Like, even night yeah. routines. Yeah, yeah, no, we... Uh, Insane. I was sleeping at, like, 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah I routine. remember, like, it'd be every night, Radice is, like, up, and I'll be up to it, like, 4 a.m., and we're just, like, talking. And yeah, we're, we're just, just checking the time, like, what is happening? Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> no, but it was... That was the hardest part, too. The daily habits that we had um, completely went to shit as soon as quarantine. <laughs> Literally. Like, no cap, like, yeah. I was journaling, like, gratitude practices, everything. Again, like how you said... Um, I'm finally back on that. Like, everything's now good again. Um, oh. no, just um, but, yeah, from there, um, completely lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> just well, like yeah, so now, I guess, the first thing we did out of quarantine, I guess, was we went to um, Port Union with Armon and his friends. Oh, yeah. And then we kind of just did a little content there, just a little vlog, whatever. Um, and then right now, I guess, or we, what was the trip we just did? Um... We had the Airbnb for three oh, days. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, where did we do like two weeks ago? That was crazy. Yeah. So we had the Airbnb. Uh, we celebrated my birthday. Um, we did not throw a party at the Airbnb. No, we Again, don't. we did not throw a party at the Airbnb. Airbnb. Why would we do that? Did not do that. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> we literally just, you know, did a bunch of work there, of course. No, we didn't yeah. do work there, but we did not throw a party. I want to make that clear. Yeah. Um, and then after that, pretty much, we're here now filming the podcast, podcast episode one. We're trading Forex a lot. Um, other than that, yeah, now we're pretty much, we have the podcast. Um, we have a bunch of stuff in the background that's going to be happening. We're going to go harder on content because, again, now that quarantine's over, we can film content. We have, you know, spaces like this specific space. Again, shout out to this space. Um, 
and yeah, we're just going to be doing more podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah to, to wrap it up, to be honest, um, a lot of content is coming out. We're definitely doubling down on our focus with the podcast mm -hmm. and um, just getting guests on, yeah. developing ourselves, going hard with Forex and yeah. uh, just wrapping up the rest of the year in a good, good, positive momentum and attitude. So kind of to like wrap things up, hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. It was just to kind of you guys, like, give you guys an intro of like our life. Yeah. Kind of get you guys to get to know us a little bit more before we actually go into like deep dive into more specific, more specific topics. Yeah. And you know how we met as a team and yeah, yeah we covered a lot. Oh, this was yeah. again, this episode was just um, an intro, a little bit of rambling, but again, it's going to be from, from now on out, definitely focused on a specific topic with what guess it is. Um, again, there'll be random episodes in between obviously, but yeah, this was just an intro episode. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to it. I hope yes. you guys enjoyed our little stories that we had to tell yeah, you guys. So many stories. Um, to tell you guys. We got way more too. So just stay tuned as episodes keep rolling out. Yeah. Keep them. Keep and yeah, keep seeking yeah, success. Yeah, no, <laughs> Remember, right. stay seeking success. Yeah. Yes, sir.